Donald Shaw and David Moore of Sludge published an excellent article of investigative journalism this month in which they revealed that a dark money group which spent millions to support conservative Democrats was funded by the American Petroleum Institute or API. In case you're not familiar with the API, get a load of this nonsense. API is the largest American lobbying group for the oil and gas industry with annual revenues in 2021 of more than $228 million. Oh, is that all? Its dues paying members include companies like ExxonMobil, Shell, and Chevron. Oh, they're paying dues to them. That's nice, so probably a solid organization. Here's how they help to support conservative Dems, the American Petroleum Institute. 990 tax form for 2021 shows it paid more than $3.5 million to the Better Jobs Together campaign, an opaque Virginia corporation that was formed in April 2021 for advocacy services it performed as an independent contractor. Better Jobs Together has spent more than $2.5 million according to ad impact figures to run television ads that praise a handful of, oh, surprise, conservative congressional Democrats for policies that they say protect the climate and jobs. And do you think they protect the climate? Of course they do not. The group's ads praise Cuellar Schrader, Rep Vicente Gonzalez, Rep Mark VC, Rep Lizzie Fletcher, and Senator Kirsten Cinema, according to copies that can be viewed on its website. The bulk of Better Jobs Together spending went toward ads that praise Quayar on which they spent at least $1.4 million according to Ad Impact. According to the League of Conservation Voters, Quayar has the worst environmental voting record of any House Democrat. So sure, pour money into him, that seems right. Jink, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot to say. Please take it away from me before I explode. Yeah, uh, so first of all, uh, the Lobbying group for big oil is spending $228 million, as Ben just told you. Why do you think they're spending that much? You think because they're not getting their return on investment? Do you think ExxonMobil cares or doesn't care about return on investment? I got news for you, they care. When they spend over $200 million, you know what they get back? Billions. The oil subsidies are so large, people have lost track of them. So they say there's a range, there's so many of them in government. That it's hard to put a number together, but they range from 14 to 24 billion a year. But wait a minute, these are literally the most profitable companies in the history of the world. Why are taxpayers giving them billions in subsidies? Well, that's because they spent $228 million bribing our government officials. And so if you watch mainstream media, you might have heard of Citizens United and Mitch McConnell's a bad guy, he likes Citizens United, the Republicans take a lot of money. You might have heard of that, right? I mean, very rarely do they tell you, oh, oh, Marco Rubio, we're talking about him. He takes the money, he's corrupt. They never phrase it that way. It's just a Citizens United floating out in the <clears> sky, right? But they almost never tell you the Democratic leadership also takes it, okay? So Cuellar, you think it's just Cuellar and he's a conservative Democrat? No, he was in a, a primary uh, on the Democratic side in Texas. They decided by, by about 300 votes. So out of 750,000 people in an average district. So it was a really close race and there was a wonderful progressive in the race against Cuellar. And Cuellar was under federal investigation for corruption on a completely different deal, right? And you know who came in to help the corrupt Democrat? The one that's actually taking money from oil companies and making sure to destroy any kind of reform in America? Nancy Pelosi and Jim Clyburn. They went down there and like, I don't vote Cuellar, now don't vote for the progressive. She's clean, and we don't want clean, okay? We want dirty like Cuellar. So that's a fact, it's an absolute fact that Pelosi, Clyburn, and other Democratic leadership supported Henry Cuellar, who's totally bought by the oil industry and votes with the oil industry. But you'll never see that in mainstream media because they're in the corruption protection racket, Mondale. Well, it makes sense too because, oh, sorry, and you could sort of Mondale, but dirty politicians should support dirty energy, that makes sense. Sorry, Mondale. It's all good, Ben. Hey, uh, Jake, from now on, don't call me Monday, just call me the mayor, all right? <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> no, listen, like, I mean, we're laughing and joking, but there's nothing funny about uh, this much money being spent talking about in the defense of climate when we know people like Cuellar and Vicente, uh, who started, the Democrat who started the founding chair of the oil caucus. 
Um, this is absolutely disgusting. We should stop calling people Democrats that support or big oil or, or, or is taking this much money or any money for that matter from API. This is a disgusting organization. And I try, I'm trying to do research. I've been doing research, trying to figure out if API is the one that tricked the world to believe that carbon capture is really a thing, even though science says it's not. Um, and, and we continue to take these Republican talking points, these conservative talking points. We can't even call them Republican talking points because we're talking about Democrats taking these funds now um, and, and run with them as if it's some approve, a proven thing or, or betterment to our environment or is helping us reach the deal that we said in, uh, in the Paris Agreement for 2015. I'm absolutely disgusted by the fact that like you said, uh, I'm glad you said corrupt, Jing, because that's exactly what it is. Nancy Pelosi, Clyburn going to Texas fighting against the Syrian who is a supporter of the Green New Deal fighting against her in the primary speaks to all the problems we have with the Democratic primaries and why we need more progressives and more work to fight against these Republican tactics. And I say Republican tactics in Democratic primaries because I meant it. Well, Mr. Mayor, I have some information for you on the carbon capture point and more. The Better Jobs Together website has been deleted. So unfortunately, the videos are no longer available. But using the Wayback Machine, which allows you to see past versions of deleted websites, you can see thumbnails here for the ads on your screen right now. Thankfully, the reporters at Sludge were able to view the ads before they were deleted in its Kirsten Cinema adds, Better Jobs Together praises the senator's work on a package of energy bills that included a bill she sponsored called the, very confusing sounding, Launching Energy Advancement and Development Through Innovations for Natural Gas Act. With so many words, they hoped you'd be confused by the end, and we are. That directs federal funding to natural gas carbon capture technology research. API's climate action framework says the group plans to, to include advocating for federal funding of carbon capture research and development. A better jobs together spot for Texas Democratic Rep Vicente Gonzalez, founding chair of the founding chair of the Congressional Oil and Gas Caucus, a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> cited statements he made at an API sponsored event during 2020's virtual Democratic National Convention arguing that natural gas is quote, vital to a renewable energy future. Gas pulled from the earth is vital to a renewable energy future. <laughs> Recent blog posts from API have similarly touted natural gas as essential. Better Jobs Together was able to do all this while still remaining in secrecy. As it unleashed a wave of political spending last year, becoming the dominant outside spender in the high profile rematch between Cuellar and Cisneros, Better Jobs Together released virtually no information about its founders or its funders. The group listed an address on its incorporation papers in Arlington, Virginia that appears to be a mailbox inside a Staples store. That is who is funding our politics in this country and funneling money to dirty politicians to literally ruin the future in this country. That's what we got. That's why it's so good that Pelosi is done in her leadership role. And it's so good that we have some chance to move forward. But so much work needs to be done to get these dirty people out of office. It's yeah. far beyond time. Yeah, of course, I meet mean, the new boss, same as the old boss. Uh, you don't get the, the speakership position unless you take tons of corporate cash and then uh, and then uh, give it to other Democrats. All right, so by the way, you saw the Orwellian language there, as Ben pointed out. Uh, we, oh, why we're taking all this oil money and drilling uh, for oil to help with renewable energy. It's, a, it's absurd. They, you know why they can say absurd things like that? Because there's no real media in this country. The media in, in DC is like, oh, of course, beloved Democrats are helping renewable energy by drilling for more oil. Of course they are, everybody print it, okay? That's why you can say outrageous things like that. You know who reported this? Sludge, independent uh, news network, okay? Great job by Sludge, great credit to them. It, why doesn't ABC and CNN break stories like this all the time? Because they don't want to expose the corruption. So uh, we've shown you in the past, the oil companies have internal memos where basically they say, our job is not to win on these issues. Our job is just to manufacture doubt, which gives cover to the politicians that we basically pay off. So they can say, well, you know, I'm not sure what's going on with renewable energy, fossil fuels, and climate change. Not sure it's happening, et cetera, or it is, but it's not, oh, but there's nothing we could do, right? And we showed you videos from the ExxonMobil lobbies that was trying to get a job, it got punked. And, uh, and he was out there saying, oh, yeah, we just call up the politicians and the senators, and we tell them we have money, and then they do what we tell them to do. And then we showed you videos of mansions saying, oh, yeah, talking to the lobbyists, saying, now the way to influence us is to make sure you give us checks. 
and I can hook you up with other Democrats and you give them checks and then they'll vote for you. They just brazenly admit it totally publicly because there's no press in this country. The corporate media is part of the crooks that are helping to cover up this crime. So look, there was a, a study that was done a little while back, five year period, 200 of the largest corporations. They spent a stunning $5.8 billion in lobbying, 5.8 billion. You know what they got back in subsidies? 4.4 trillion dollars. That's like a hundred thousand percent return on a uh, rate of return. Okay, so you can't. I mean, you can't in a regular free market. You can't get a hundred thousand percent return. But if you bribe politicians, they just give it to you. They just take the taxpayer money and give it to these corporations. So that's how this game was played in Washington. Great job by Sludge for exposing a part of it. It's not just Republicans. It's corporate Democrats. That it's a good cop, bad cop. The good cop is in some ways more uh, dishonest. The Democratic Party used to be a great party, like where giant progressives like FDR, LBJ, JFK actually did things for the American people. We need to get back to that Democratic Party. And research by Influence Map, by the way, has tracked the lobby group's efforts since the uh, since 2016 to obstruct climate policies that would reduce emissions in line with the Paris Agreement, of course. And how is it allowed to happen? Because federal campaign finance laws on electioneering, quoting Sludge here, on electioneering communications allow groups to do this. They allow them to air political ads while avoiding disclosure. As long as the ads don't explicitly say to elect or defeat a particular candidate and aren't shown within 30 days. So you can say, look at all these great things this candidate has done for the for jobs and for the environment. And it can be lies and it can be a total manipulation and they don't have to even disclose it. It was uncovered by their taxes, not by disclosure forms to the FEC. Yeah, listen, this is this is absolutely disgusting. It is a crime. And I'm listening to the number you're talking about. Four trillion in kickbacks is enough to fix every problem with all poor Americans. And, and I think the fact that we taxpayers are paying for Exxon, who basically all of the oil companies who are members of API, all of them made unbelievable amounts of profits this year while they price gouged us and told us it was a shortage or there was a problem with oil that required them to raise the prices to the levels that they did. This is absolutely disgusting and it's absolutely a fact that our media, national media plays a role in this. We see so many ads. If you were watching the election or before before the election, any, any major or mainstream media, all you saw were ads from candidates and oil companies. Candidates and oil companies, well, I should just say oil companies because candidates are owned by oil companies. So it's absolutely disgusting that I see every, every I'm now learning that, you know, for five billion, you can get four trillion, but for 400, you can't get anything. 400 being what poor people are making in my hometown uh, on an average paycheck week. This is absolutely disgusting because we can't afford a government. We don't have a government working for us. 100%. The last thing I'll leave you on. Uh, so, of course, the mayor's. Right, except for one quick thing, uh, it wasn't just oil companies. Sam Bankman Fried, uh, the crook who ran FDX, poured in about $40 million to the Democratic Party. But as we showed you yesterday on the show, it turns out he put in $40 million to the Republican Party too. And it was so telling because he said, well, I gave to the Republicans through dark money because you get criticized for giving to the Republicans. I gave $40 million out in the open to the Democrats. Because when you basically bribe them, you get credit for it. The media says you did a great job and you're a humanitarian. So that's how this game is played. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.